really. Look, think about the Q point, BCE, collector current. That re also represents transistor conduction. Q point, move the Q point around. If the transistor conducts more, which way are we going? We're going this way. Here, let me put five volts here. Zero's over here. I'll use five milliamps as a saturation, the max saturation current. There's Q. If I move towards saturation, what happened to VCE? Uh, hello. Remember that stuff? Okay. Old line. Told you, VO3, it's not going to go away. Induction and VCE are inverse, always. Now, I've got less potential felt at the base of Q1. It's an NPN transistor. Now I have less potential on the base. What's Q1 going to do? Conduct more or less? Less. Okay, conduct less. Because think about what I ultimately need. I have an increase in load. Same current times bigger load, bigger voltage. I don't want bigger voltage. I want same voltage. So what does the transistor have to do to compensate and settle that potential increase and in output voltage down. Probably needs to provide less current. You understand what I'm saying? To bring it back down. That's the deal. Q1's the series pass transistor in this circuit. It feeds current more or less or takes away from the load, essentially. Conducts less. Q1 less. VCE of Q1 has to do what if it's conducting less? You didn't just say degrees, did you? Really? One more time. Look where we're going with Q point again. We were here. Now, we just said transistor conduction is less. Which way we got to go? We're not going that way anymore. We're going to go back this way, don't we? Yes, sir. So if I go back this way, doesn't my VCE go from here? Let's say that was 4 volts. We're back here now. It degrees, didn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Draw your load line. Just move the Q point around. It should be obvious that they're inverse. Yeah, you need to move on. We're running out of time. Make sure you get with someone that knows what's going on. Do it. Because you're still having issues with just the load line EO3 stuff. Someone that can do this expeditiously. Load decreases. Gibson! Gibson! Yes, sir. Load decrease. What don't I want to happen to the output voltage? You don't want it to uh, decrease? Yeah. Same current times decreased load can cause decreased load voltage, right? That's like Ohm's long stuff, isn't it? All right, cool. Which color are we going to use? Orange. Because it's the same as a line, this circuit, line and load. Same. 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 What? Same. No screaming eagle there, Ruiz. Is that decrease going to be felt back to base Q3? Yes, sir. Yeah. What's good? Q3 going to do? Less potential on NP type material. Cause Q3's emitter base junction to conduct less. Conduct less. Look, I'm putting less potential on P type material. Now I'm taking it and doing this. Less conduction. Where are we at? We're right here. Look, see the colors match? Less conduction. Less conduction. Hey. Conducting less, move down, move down away from saturation just a little bit. My VC is going to do what? Transistor. Gee, if you can't figure that out, what have I been saying like the 30th time now? VC and transistor conduction are what? <laughs> How hard is that concept? I'm even telling you the damn answer. Really? Some of you need to. Freaking study. If you don't know this by now, that's PEO3 stuff, isn't it? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. VCE increases. The collector <laughs> voltage has a higher potential on it, doesn't it? Yes, VCE sir. increase. Larger potential on the base of Q1. Now it's a larger potential in P type <coughs> material. What's it going to do? <coughs> Conduct more. Because don't I need more current to the load to bring that back up? 
Yes, sir. Yes! Just by that mere fact, you don't even have to really go this way. Can't you reverse engineer it? Because yes, if you just say, hey, oh, this voltage feedback uh, load line increases, I'm telling you the same, told you. If I were talking about the load, if the load decreases, imagine that current that exists there right now. Unplug it. Plug a smaller load in. Smaller load times same current. Smaller voltage, right? Yes, sir. Okay. I don't want that. The circuit's going to automatically compensate. It happens right now. That decrease in potential is automatically, immediately felt there. See, some of you, I think, are having a difficult time with what happens right now, and what, or slowing down time, what happens immediately. This happens immediately. Immediately. Compensates. Decreased potential. This is the third time I'm talking about this. This should be clearing up right now. Because if it was fuzzy way back the first time, she would ask the questions then and not wait until now when we're supposed to be reviewing to wrap your head around this. Less potential on the basic Q1. P type material. I'm sorry, increased potential. What's going to do to that transistor? It's going to conduct more. It's BCE. I'm telling you for a 32nd time now, transistor conducts more, VCE does what? Increases. It's inverse. It always is inverse. Always. Always. That's how this circuit compensates for increase, decrease, and line or load. That's how it happens. If you approach it the way I'm showing you right now, you got it. That's how it works. That's why I took away all the components that aren't essential at this point, making it more simple so you can see. It's called a feedback for a reason. Done with this one. Voltage feedback, we're finished. Some of you need to study tonight. We got two more to talk about.